Okay, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ever. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm really good, thank you. Okay, so Ever, tell me, did you finish unit number three and the exam? Yes, teacher. I finished. Okay, perfect. Very nice. So, well, because, you know, to now we are going to start with unit number four, right? So, unit number four and, you know, next week will be the last one, okay? The last week so we can finish this module, okay? So, you know, let's wait a couple of minutes for the rest of, you know, your classmates. Meanwhile, you know, let me share you this thing that I have here for you. So, let's see. um i have it here okay so well tonight well this week we are going to start with this unit right unit number four so as you can see we have this exercise right so we have all of these um and we have like one two three just three quizzes right for this unit so this we will be you know really easy because we are going to do you know only these three quizzes so welcome for the ones that are joining. Good evening or good night. So guys, welcome back. Welcome. So guys, tonight we are going to start with unit number four, right? So if you, uh, if you can, guys, and if you have time, you know, you can, you know, let's start making the exercises, right? That we have in the platform about this unit, right? Only if you have time, but if you cannot understand, do not worry because we are going you know, to see some topics here. So guys, good evening. So well, let's see. Uh, welcome everybody. So guys, for tonight we have you know, a very interesting topic. So we are going you know, to learn how to describe people and we are going to see some adjectives, you know, how to describe personalities, you know, type of body and many things else but before to start with that guys do you remember that we have this reading previous class right we have this one that you remember that we make some groups right so guys tonight you know we are going to make this exposition okay because you know there were some groups here but let's see how many we are we are eight so we are going you know to wait for the rest of your classmates you know to join so we can start with the exposition, okay? I have already, you know, the groups. So do not worry because I have them. I know who, you know, who belongs to each group. But first guys, let's see, let me share you this, you know, conversation that I have here for you, okay? So tonight we are going to start with this one. So it says she's very tall. So let's see guys, we have Emily and Randy, so Please look at, you know, read with me, guys. Let's see. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet, two, I suppose. Wow, that, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, guys, let me ask you. Do you understand all this conversation? Is there any word, any phrase that you don't know? Tell me, guys. Yes, no? Do you understand everything? Entiende todo? Or oh, there is something that you don't understand. Yes? No? Gorgeous, teacher. Okay. Gorgeous. 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 Perfect. Perfect, Naomi. So, gorgeous means like, uh, como elegante, right? Elegante. Gorgeous. Okay. Gorgeous. Okay. Like this gorgeous. one. Yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Naomi. Uh, Thank any you. other word, guys? Any other word that you don't understand? Yes, no? Girlfriend mm. is esposa, verdad, teacher? Uh, yeah, uh, this one, girlfriend. Girlfriend, 
is novia, okay? Novia. Novia. Yeah, okay. novia. My new girlfriend, novia. Esposa yes. is wife. 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 Yeah. Okay, very nice. Um, another word, guys? No, thank you. No. Suppose, teacher. Suppose, okay. So about six feet two, I suppose, supongo. Okay, suppose, suponer, right? I suppose, okay. supongo. Okay, I suppose. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other word, guys? Algo más que no, no entienden de aquí? No vayan a decir todo, right? Because <laughs> I know that you know <laughs> at, at least, I mean, I need... I know that you have a, at least the idea, right? You have the idea about this conversation. So any other word, guys, that you don't understand, don't be afraid, okay? So if there is not, let me see. I'm going to open, guys, some rooms so we can, you know, discuss about this. Let's see, five, seven, let's make seven, six. Okay, so we are going, you know, to make some groups, guys. So let's discuss this, okay? Practiquemos esto. Let's practice, okay? So you can accept the invitation. The picture is already on the WhatsApp group, okay? It's in the group of WhatsApp, okay? So let's practice, okay? Hey, come on. Perfect. You can accept the invitation, please, guys. Very nice. Okay, hello, Maricela. Uh, we are working in groups. Let me assign you to a group, okay? You can accept the invitation. Okay, welcome girls. Let me assign you to a group, okay? So please, if you can accept the invitation. Okay, so welcome, welcome back. 
So guys, let's see. I'm going first. Let's wait for the rest to join. But let's see, I'm going to choose some of you guys to practice. So let's see. Um, tell me in ever because you are here. Let's see. Tell me you're going to be Emily and ever you're going to be Randy. Okay. So let's start, guys. Uh, the microphone, tell me. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that's tall. What color is her hair? hair? She has beauty, beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Ever. Thank you, Delmi. Very nice. Okay, I like it. So, guys, let's see. If you can see here, guys, we are discussing about, you know, adjectives, right? How to describe people. We have this question, what does she look like? So this question is like, como Lucia, right? And he says she's very tall, okay? Bastante alta. How tall? ¿Qué tan alta? About six feet and two, como alrededor de seis, you know, pies y, y dos, right? Six feet and two, which means like um, siete, ocho, bueno, como casi... 70, bueno, 80 metros sería, right? Como 80, 80 perdón. Um, 80 de alto, something like that. I suppose. What well, that is tall. What color is her hair? ¿Qué color es su cabello, right? What color is her hair? And she's beautiful red hair, right? How old is she? You know how old? I don't know. Well, in this case, guys, this conversation is about, you know, describing her girlfriend, right? Describing Randy's girlfriend, right? About this one. But guys, you know, before, well, after, you know, going through this one, let's move on because we have this, right? So guys, previous class, we were, you know, reading this one. Do you remember that we read this one in groups because we answered some questions? Now, guys... I want to see um, how many of you read it, right? I remember that we have five groups, so let's see. Um, I have, for let's see with the first group, I have Alvaro, Ambar, Dina, and Janira. So tell me, guys, what do you, I mean, understood about this one? ¿Qué entendieron acerca de este reading? Alvaro, Ambar, Dina, Janira, the first group, tell me. Yes. Yes, guys. Do you remember? Recordamos este reading, guys. Lo recordamos? Yes, no? Yes. Okay, so what is the reading about? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. She he was <clears throat> describing all the activities that she she do she does she does okay very nice okay thank you janira and what about alvaro dina wow. and amba what can you say she, about this she, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. she likes she like she likes city mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. out uh, with your friends Okay. And, mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Okay, thank you, group one. Now let's see, group two. I have for group two, I have Aide, Claudia Garay, Noemi, and Sandra Cruz. So group two, what can you tell me about this reading? ¿Qué pueden decir acerca de este reading? Yes? Group two. 
Like that, Claudia, Mami, Sandra, something. What do you understand? Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi, I did. So tell me, what do you understand about this one, about this reading? Mm, permíteme un momento que no tenía energía y voy entrando. Lo voy a leer un poquito. Okay, it's okay. And what about the rest? Sí. Uh, Claudia, Noemi, Sandra? Yes? Uh, she's at the Saturday. Uh, yes. I usually be in the, in the autobus of San Francisco um, for day. Okay, so, well, it says that she and her friends usually take the bus yes. to San Francisco, right? Yeah, that's part of the reading. Okay. And, um, well, but no worry, girls. Now let's move on. Let's see. I have group number three. So I have Eduardo, Edwin, Jenny, and Roxana. So guys, can what can you tell me about this reading? What do you understood? Okay. Um, this letter is about the university life of Ruth. Okay. She tells tell about your daily routine mm -hmm. in the university and your three days. Okay. She tells him uh, her favorite food, place, hobbies, sport, sir. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Eduardo. That's nice. Perfect. Now, um, what about, let's see, group number four, Brenda, Lisa, Jennifer, Torres, and Marvin. What can you tell me about this reading? Yes, guys. Yes. Brenda, Jennifer, Marvin, anything? Um, mm -hmm. the real is a different moment, the person in different, uh, different moment uh, and the uh, go to San Francisco and sometimes playing with my friends and other sport events. And this, this person is a great American football. He's exercising for us, yeah, for us. And your jury is different from the, the friends. And yeah. Okay. Only. Okay, thank you, Marvin. Okay. <clears throat> Now let's see the last one. Room no, well, group number five. I have Erica, Ever, and Salvador. What can you tell me about this reading, guys? Yes. Uh, this letter is uh, about uh, the many activity. Mm -hmm. uh, she does in the week weekend. Okay. Um, uh, uh, she loves uh, play tennis and football. Uh, she she likes uh, watch uh, football games. Okay. And uh, she loves a uh, shop and restaurant in San Francisco. Uh, she likes a uh, uh, yes. skating in the goles, go, este, Golden Gate Park. And uh, I lament. Okay, that's all. Perfect. Yes. Very nice. Okay, thank you ever for sharing this one. Okay, guys. So let's, you know, well, those were all the groups. 
So guys, well, I really like that some of you tried to explain. That's really nice, guys, because at the end of the day, that's what matters, right? Try, you know, to make an effort to explain. So guys, this exposition was like not, I mean, like formal at all, right? So do not worry. We are going to have a better exposition, but, you know, it will be in this week, but, you know, you have to be ready, okay? Because we are going to work, but this case, we are going to work a lot, okay? So now, guys, you know, let me let me move on because for now we have this topic, okay? So, well, if you have, you know, seen your platform, you will see that we have this, you know, unit, right? So it's about describing people, right? So we have, you know, ways to describe. We have the hair, age, we have looks, and height. So let's see, guys. For hair, we have different, you know, type of hairs, right? So we have long brown hair, okay, long brown hair, short, okay, blonde hair, straight, black hair, curly, red hair, bald, a mustache, and a bird. Okay, guys. So get guys, sorry. Um, we have this one, we have the hair, right? So lo tenemos largo. Corto, liso, colocho, calvo. Y tenemos aquí el bigote y la barba. Guys, do you, well, do you know this vocabulary already? The meaning? ¿Ya conocemos este vocabulario, chicos? Yes, no? No? Yes? A no. little bit? No. Okay, guys. So let's see, we have this first one. Long brown hair. Tenemos long, you know, their long means like largo, right? Long. Brown. Ya sabemos que es un color, right? ¿Qué, qué color es brown, guys? Café. Café. Café, exactly. Hair. So, guys, long brown hair es un pelo largo color café, right? You see? And we have this one, short. You know that short means corto, right? You see? Short. Blonde. This is a color. And blonde, in this case, is rubio, okay? Blonde is rubio, okay? Short blonde hair is como pelo corto rubio, right? You see? And we have this one, a straight black hair. Okay, straight means liso, okay? Liso. So in este caso sería pelo liso. ¿Qué color, guys? Black, okay? Black. black. You know that is negro. Right? Perfect. So straight, liso, right? Tenemos curly. Curly means colocho, okay? Colocho, okay? El pelo, o pelo rizado, okay? Curly, curly. Red, you know that what is the color, right? Red hair. Okay. Es un pelo colocho rojo, you see? Bald means with not hair, right? Calvo, okay? Bald es calvo, okay? Sin pelo. Tenemos a mustache. Mustache es... El bigote, okay? Un bigote. And bird. Bird is la barba, okay? La barba. This one. Also, guys, we have age, okay? Las edades. So, you know the age. We have young, joven, middle age, de mediana edad, elderly, alguien ya un poco anciano, right? Y tenemos looks, okay? Handsome, you know, handsome, it's only for men, okay? Handsome means in Spanish, guapo, okay? Guapo, yeah, como eso, como guapo significa, right? Alguien, un, solo se le dice los hombres, right? Handsome. Tenemos good looking, good looking, se le puede decir tanto hombres como mujeres, significa de alguien de buen ver, okay? Alguien que se mira bien, okay? Pretty, okay, no pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty means bella, okay? Como bella. Now let's see. We have height. We have short. You see short, pequeño. Fairly short, medianamente pequeño. Medium height, como de mediana estatura. Pretty tall, alguien alto. Y very tall, alguien bien alto, right? Very tall. Let's see, guys. So we have as well this one. You see, hey, tall, medium, hey, short, weight. Okay, this is for the body, okay, body. Fat, fit, thin. Age, old, middle age, young, 
Tenemos también face, guys. Face. Si tenemos una round face, long face, oval face, a mustache, a beard, and the hair. You see brown, dark, red, fair or blonde means the same. Fair y blonde significa rubio, okay? Significa lo mismo, okay? Speaky, son como peinados, right? Speaky means like el pelo es separado, right? Curly, wavy, wavy hair. El wavy, guys, es como el pelo ondulado, okay? Wavy, wavy hair. Straight hair, ya sabemos que es pelo liso, right? Tenemos long, short, and bald. Eyes, not eyes, guys. Eyes, eyes. Los tenemos small or big. Pequeños o grandes, los ojos. Brown, green, or blue, right? Like this one. And so, guys, let me explain you this one. So, let's see. It says, guys, that for height, age, and body, we use verb to be, okay? Para um, la estatura, chicos, la edad, y para el cuerpo, lo describimos utilizando el verbo to be. So, for example, guys, let's see. Let's use she, okay? Verbo to be. She is, let's see, height. She is, para height que tenemos, tall, medium, height, and short. So let's see, she is, let's see, short, okay? Ella es pequeña. Age, edad. She is, let's see, uh, 17 years, okay? 17 years old, okay? So she is young, right? She is young, ella es joven, right? Body, okay, for a body, tenemos este, right? Fat, fit, and thin. Okay, so let's see. She is fit. Okay, she is fit. It's not common form, right? She's fit. You see, like this one, we use verb to be. Okay, de esta forma utilizamos para describir. Okay, utilizamos el verbo to be. Okay, so la regla básica, chicos. Sujeto, subject, plus verb to be. Okay, verb to be. Plus adjective, okay? So, hagamos otro. Por ejemplo, ocupamos you, you, okay, subject, verbo to be. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be de you, guys? Are, right? Are. You are, perfect. You are. Y un adjetivo, podemos ocupar the high age of body. We have here, let's see. You are, let's see, tall. So, you are tall, you see? Like this one. So, guys, any question about this? Alguna pregunta acerca de esto? Yes, no? No? Okay, very nice then. Teacher, una pregunta, disculpe. Yeah. No. Es de lo anterior. ¿Por qué razón pretty se ocupa para bonito, digamos, y también para describir la altura? Pretty. Ah, okay. Pretty. So, pretty. So, yeah, pretty, pretty no solo significa una cosa, ¿ok? En inglés ustedes sabemos que una palabra puede significar otra, otras cosas, right? At the same as Spanish. So, si ocupamos pretty, digamos... ¿Por qué voy a poner ¿Sí? Yes. Ok, so, pretty, no. guys. Excuse me. Not... Great, great significa también otra cosa. Exactly, yeah. So, we use it for many things, right? So, for example, guys, let's see. En este caso, mencionando los looks, guys, pretty se traduce como bella. Pero aquí lo estoy ocupando, pretty tall. Pretty aquí no es un adjetivo, sino que aquí me lo está dando como decir very, right? Es como bastante, ¿ok? Pretty aquí significa como bastante. It's pretty tall. Oh, she's pretty short, ok, como bastante, como decirle bastante alto, ok, que es bien alto, right, pretty aquí es casi como very, ok, no es el adjetivo, ok, this is an adverb, aquí pretty se ocupa como adverbio y aquí sí es el adjetivo, ok, so en este caso, o yo puedo, bien puedo haber dicho, he is tall o he's pretty tall, pretty lo estoy ocupando como un eh, como dándole mayor énfasis right, al adjetivo, como que bastante, ¿ok? 
So, siyempre din kung kano'n yan. So, but that's a good question. It's a very good question, guys. So, lo podemos utilizar pretty. Significa no solo esto, right? Significa también como bastante, right? Y de seguro debe tener también otros significados. So, very nice. Um, I don't know if you have another question, guys. Teacher, no yeah. se podría ocupar también el very talk en lugar de pretty. No. Uh, yeah. So, pretty tall means, um, bueno, very tall, ya sabemos que very que es bastante, right? So, pretty tall, chicos, en este caso, también significa bastante, right? Pero no tanto como very. Very es como más, right? Pretty es como algo, right? Es como algo alto, es bastante alto. Y very tall es como es muy alto, right? Very tall es como muy alto. Él es bastante alto, pero es muy, él es muy alto. Es más alto que él, right? Very tall. Like this one. But pretty, guys, do not worry. We are going to see, vamos a ver también los adverbios, chicos, cómo utilizarlos, right? Pero en este caso es bastante bueno que se hayan dado cuenta de esto, yeah. Es como, hence, fairly sure, fairly sure, es como medianamente, right? Bajo. Medium height. Okay, mediana edad, mediana estatura, sorry. Pretty tall, bastante alto. Very tall, muy alto, right? Like this one. So, I don't know if I made myself understood, guys. Do you understand? Entendimos bien esto? Yes? Yes, no? A little yes. bit? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, very nice. Yes. So, just to remember, pretty significa... Bonita, pero también lo podemos utilizar en adjetivo. Pero para utilizarlo como un adverbio, chicos, se, se va a significar bastante, ¿ok? En inglés, tanto como en español, chicos, las palabras no tienen bastante significado, ¿ok? No solo tienen un significado, sino que tienen otros. So, very nice. Ok, so we were in this part, guys. So, let's see. About this rule, guys, do we have any question? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta acerca de esta regla? ¿Cómo utilizarla? So, chicos, recordemos, first is subject, ¿ok? Primero, para describirlos, utilizando el hate Asian body, vamos a utilizar subject, verbo to be, adjetivo, right? Like this one, ¿ok? This is the rule, ¿ok? So, don't get confused. Now, let's see, guys. Aparte de eso, tenemos para, ¿cómo vamos a describir face, hair, eyes, skin, ¿ok? We are going to use have got or has got. It will depend. Teacher. Yes. <clears throat> Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, uh, tell when, 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 when we When we use she is fit, mm -hmm. uh, it's missing at an yes or no? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Because, porque aquí, chicos, no son, estos no son verbos, solo los mm -hmm. verbos les ponemos esto, estos son adjetivos, chicos, ¿ok? Los adjetivos no son verbos, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Solo los adjetivos, chicos, los utilizamos para describir a las personas, ¿ok? Los verbos son las acciones, right So aquí, sí. el verbo que tenemos aquí es is, ¿ok? Que es el verbo to be, you see? So that's why we use okay. it, is. Is es un verbo ready, que significa ser y estar, right So, ella es fit, right? It's all like this one. Okay. okay. Very Thank nice. You, You're welcome. Okay, guys. So, let's teacher. see. Mm -hmm. Yes? Uh, in my case, is, so yeah, I am very short. Exactly. I am very short. Only. Perfect. Yeah. Only that. Only. Yeah. Ah, yeah. okay. Perfect. I am Thanks. sure. You're welcome. Very nice. So we are getting, guys. Estamos teniendo, yeah. Sí. Subject, I, verbo to be, am. Adjective, short, right? Or I am tall, right? Like this one. Very nice. I like it. Now, guys, let's see. Ahora vamos a ver cómo vamos a describir la cara, el pelo, los ojos y la piel, right, guys? So let's see. For this one, we use have got or has got. So let's see, guys. Let's have this example, the same one. She, can she, guys, ¿qué utilizamos? Have or has? Has. 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 Okay, has. So, 
Perfect. She has got, uh, let's see, let's see, uh, face. She has got round, okay? Let's see round. She has got, sorry. It's wrong. Yeah. Hello? Oh, no. I just repeat the chat. Okay, don't know what. She has got a, a wrong face, don't worry. So she has got a wrong face, or we can say she has got a long, dark hair, okay? Or let's see, he has got a, uh, she has got, let's see, uh, blue eyes. Okay, we have this one, but guys, don't get confused. She ha has got, or have got, for example, um, you have got, let's see, um, black eyes, let's see, like this. So guys, en esto, podemos utilizar have got, o simplemente podemos decir has, okay? Es lo mismo, ¿ok? Have got es como darle más énfasis, ¿ok? Es como más común. So, she has a round face significa lo mismo que decir she has got a round face. Ella tiene una cara redonda, ¿ok? Tiene. She has got a long dark hair. Ella tiene un pelo largo eh, negro. She has, es lo mismo, ¿ok? Agregarle el got es lo mismo. Y de la forma contractada, guys, es like this one. He's got blue eyes, okay? He's got blue eyes, que significa lo mismo que decir he has blue eyes, okay? It's the same, okay? Usted le puede agregar got o no si usted quiere. Pero en los ejercicios que, bueno, tenemos en la plataforma, creo que piden que agregamos el got, okay? Así que para tenerlo en mente, right? Usted lo puede decir have got, has got, o simplemente has, okay? It's the same, okay? There is no differences, okay? Solo es para darle quizás más énfasis, right? Solo para que suene más, right? But it's the same, okay? So guys, let's see. What is the rule for this one? Let's have it here. We have subject plus has got or have, sorry, have got, okay? Or just have plus the adjective, okay? Adjective. Okay, sorry, adjective. So she has got long, dark blonde hair, you see? Or she has got blue eyes, like this one. Anything, well, and we have as well the noun, right? The noun means, ya sea la cara, pelo, los ojos, o la skin, okay? For okay. example, vamos a hacer un ejemplo más específico, guys. So, sujeto, give me a subject, guys. A subject or a name. Let's see, Elena. Elena is a subject, right? Elena has, let's see, adjective. Um, let's see, a small. Small and the noun, eyes. Okay? This one. Oh, yeah. Elena has got. It's the same, okay? Has, has got the same, okay? Like this one. Now, guys, let's see. Let's practice a little bit, okay? So I have here this one. We are going, guys, to describe, you know, our first, what does your mother look like? Como luce tu madre, okay? Vamos a describir first our mother, then what does your father look like? Vamos a describir a nuestro padre. Then what does your friends look like, okay? Vamos a describir a nuestro amigo, okay? So, guys, I'm sending you... Les estoy enviando this one, right? También les voy a enviar las fotos para que nos acordemos, right? Let me divide you in groups. Déjenme dividirlos en grupos para que practiquemos, ¿ok? So, vamos a practicar estas preguntas en el grupo, que ¿okay? Vamos a describir cada uno, ¿ok? A nuestra madre, padre y mejor amigo, ¿ok? Utilizando los adjetivos que hemos visto y también utilizando... Eh, los, los... Bueno, las reglas que hemos visto, right? So let me open the rooms, guys. Déjenme abrir los rooms.
para que podamos trabajar. Okay, let's see. Let's make seven groups. So I guess we can work in trios. Okay. So guys, please accept the invitation and let's you know practice this one, please. Ya está la foto, guys, de las preguntas y también del vocabulario, right? Para que podamos practicarlo, okay? Déjenme enviarles también una foto para que veamos cómo son las reglas, okay? Para que no nos confundamos, okay, guys? So please practice, practiquemos, guys, okay? Because practice makes perfection, right? So you can accept the invitation and we can start, okay? Let's see, let me send you this one. Oh, okay. Okay, guys. So please accept the invitation to the groups, guys.
Okay, guys, welcome back. Welcome. So I hope you have practiced, you know, because we are going, you know, to discuss this one. So let's see, guys. Uh, we are going to wait for the rest to come in. But let's start because I have here. So let's see, Salvador, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Salvador. Let me ask you this question. What does your mother look like? My my mother is mm -hmm. short. Yeah. Is fit and old. Okay. Perfect. Nice. Thank you, Salvador. Okay. She used bird to be. Now let's see. Uh Eduardo, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Eduardo. Let me ask you this question. What does your father look like? <clears throat> yes. Okay. He fat black Okay. Okay, Eduardo. Um, well, it looks like the connection, you know, is breaking out. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. So, do not worry, but yeah. Okay. Um, uh, mm -hmm. I heard it. It is fat. He okay. has black eyes and Okay, very nice then. Perfect. Now let's see. Um, we have this question. So hello, Lorena. Hello. Lorena, hello. Hello, Lorena. Are you here? Yes, no. Okay. So then let's move on. Let's see. Uh, hello, uh, Alvaro. Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, Alvaro. Uh, let me ask you this question. What does your best friend look like? My, my best friend? Yeah, your best friend. Ah, oh, my best friend is... Uh... Uh, medium age, medium age, uh, uh, fit, he's a fit. He's fit, uh, okay. He's fit, uh, uh, he have, he have, uh, he has, 20, she has huh? 25, 25 year. Uh, no, in this she case, has, he, he is, la, he is, para, he yeah, para la edad is, is, okay. No, okay, he is 25 <laughs> years. He has a brown eyes. A brown eye. Okay, very That's nice. Perfect. Yeah, very nice, Alvaro. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, guys. So now let's see. I have hair, okay? I have Angelina Jolie. So let's see, guys. Um, well, now you are going to help me, okay? So let's see. I'm going to show some of you randomly to describe me at least one appearance, okay? You can tell me either height, age, um, hair, eyes, uh, skin, face, okay? Everything that you can tell me. But just one thing, okay? Solo una cosa. Pueden decir más cerca de ella. So let's see, I'm going to choose some of you. Let's see. Jenny, hello, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Uh, can you tell me something about hair, please? Just one thing. She has a big green eyes. Big green eyes. Perfect, Jenny. Very nice. Thank you. Now let's see, I'm going to choose uh, Sandra. Hello, Sandra. 
Hello, teacher. Hello, Sandra. Tell me something about her, please. She's fit. Okay, she's fit. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Now, let's see. I have, let's see, Brenda said Hello, Brenda. Hello, teacher. Hi, Brenda. Tell me something about her, please. Um, she has a long face. A long face. Okay. Very nice. Thank you, Brenda. And let's see, Anna. Hello, Anna. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Anna. So tell me something about Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie has a long, a long, yes, a long brown hair. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Anna. Now let's see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, guys, now we have here this one. Now let's see. Let me ask. Let's see. Let's choose a boy here. Well, we are losing boys. Um, Ever. Hello, Ever. Hello, teacher. Hi. Tell me one thing about him, please. Uh, he has got a bird. Okay. Very nice. Bird. Thank you, Ever. Now let's see. Hello, Marvin. Hello. Hi. Tell me something about him, please. Just one thing. Thing. Just one. Solo una, un adjetivo, please. Ah, uh, uh, he has a uh, hair black. He has a black hair. Perfect. A black, black hair. Okay. Very nice. Now let's see Delmi. Hello, Delmi. <laughs> yeah, Delmi, the microphone, please. <laughs> so tell me something uh, about him, please. Um, he has um. He has got small black eyes. Small black eyes. Okay. Well, I see brown eyes, but perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Delmi. Very nice. No. Okay. Very nice. So now, guys, let's see. I guess, guys, that we got it. Okay. Creo que no tenemos ni una pregunta acerca de los adjetivos, right? Acerca de eso, de lo que hemos visto, right? Or do we have any question? Is there any question, guys? Mm -hmm. about skin and what ah, skin oh, okay skin. yeah we have white and black skin okay tenemos blanca y piel negra right like this one but do not worry because i have more i mean i have here about uh another presentation about this but first of all tengo una presentación extra chicos para que aprendamos más de los adjetivos okay pero antes de continuar con eso chicos i have here an exercise for you okay tengo primero un ejercicio para ustedes okay so let's see i have this one guys so according we will have seen guys de acuerdo a lo que hemos visto chicos y de su conocimiento cuál creen que sería esto sería tall hairy bold or thin bold Bold. Oh, perfect. And what is bold? Calvo. Calvo. Very nice. Now let's bold. see. Tenemos esto. ¿Qué son estos chicos? Old, young, strong, or tall? Old. Old. Very nice. Perfect. Okay, guys. Now it will be your bold. turn, okay? Ahora es su turno, okay, chicos? Ya les envié el link al grupo de WhatsApp y se lo voy a enviar aquí al chat box de aquí de Zoom para que lo hagamos, ¿ok? Está bastante fácil, solo son adjetivos, right Vamos a escoger cuál pertenece a, a qué. Al final ustedes me envían un screenshot, right You send me a screenshot to the WhatsApp group, ¿ok? With your score. So come on, guys, let's see, ¿ok? Let's measure your knowledge. Do not worry. This is not going to be a valid. Eso no va a ser valid, así que hagámoslo con calma, ¿ok? Con su conocimiento, ¿ok? Tratemos de aprender, ¿ok? Let's try to learn, ¿ok? Because we are here to learn, right? Not to pass the subject, but to learn, ¿ok? 
No solo para pasar la materia, estamos aquí para aprender también, right? So come on, guys. You know you can do it, right? And if you have any question, just let me know, please. Okay, come on, guys. Who's going to be the first one? And if you have any question about the class, do not worry. Um, do not worry because, well, we don't have enough time, but tomorrow we are going to continue, right? Because this topic is kind of, you know, big. So we are going to see, okay? Okay, I have here Salvador. Okay, Marvin, very nice, guys. Perfect. Okay, very nice, guys. I have here Janira, Anna. So you see, guys, it's not complicated, right? It's very easy. So let's see. Come on. Okay. Let's see, we are going to wait for the rest, guys. So let's see. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys, very nice. I like it. I like that almost all of you have seen this one. So very nice. So guys, you see this exercise was not, you know, like complicated, right? It was very easy. So because you understood everything, guys, you know. Okay, so everybody has sent everything. So guys, well, before finishing tonight, antes de terminar hoy, chicos, let me, you know, just share you this one. Esta semana, chicos, iniciamos unidad número cuatro, okay? So, which means that we are almost finished, right? Sorry. So, guys, next week, we are going, guys, you know, well, la siguiente semana, chicos, ya es el último, okay? Es la última semana. Esta es la penúltima, right? So, para esta semana, chicos, va a estar bastante fácil porque solo tenemos una unidad, okay? Solo va a ser una unidad la que tenemos que terminar, Si ustedes, los ejercicios, ustedes los pueden hacer anytime, ¿ok? Cualquier tiempo que ustedes quieran. Si ustedes quieren esperar hasta que eh, lo expliquemos aquí en la clase, that's okay, ¿ok? That's very cool. Pero si quieren hacerlos porque dicen, ah, quiero avanzar, porque me parece interesante, pues ustedes pueden hacerlo, ¿ok? Pueden avanzar anytime that you want. Solo tenemos, para esta unidad es bastante fácil, chicos, solo tenemos tres ejercicios, ¿ok? Solo son tres ejercicios, pero do not worry, ¿ok? No se preocupen, sure. igual. Yes. Eh, solo un comentario. Eh, yo me meto a las clases de YouTube, yeah. pero eh, la situación que se me da es que el cuadro donde aparecen los participantes uh -huh. eh, tapan las letras del lado derecho. No sé si existe la posibilidad de ponerlos al lado izquierdo porque no se lee lo que se pone ahí. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Ah, de ah la, a las clases, this is out, yeah. Ajá, a las clases, ajá. Ah, ok, ah, oh, yeah, of course, do not worry, yeah. Porque me este cuadrito que está en la, en la esquina superior derecha tapa uh -huh. lo que se escribe ahí, entonces no entiendo qué es lo que dice. Entonces, ok, no sé. <laughs> yeah, Pero, yeah. Perdón. Yeah, no, do not worry, it's, it's understandable, Perfect. yeah. Yeah, so, perfect, Gracias. very nice. Yeah, do not worry. So, sí, chicos, um, but thank you, Naomi. So I, I will move it, okay? Lo voy a mover cada vez que... Pensé que no, no salía en la grabación es el cuadro, pero lo voy a estar moviendo, okay? Para otro lado, para que ustedes That's también it. puedan ver, okay? Everything. So guys, do not worry. Tomorrow, guys, tenemos... Bueno, ya iniciamos este topic, chicos, de los adjectives, pero nos falta ver más. ¿Por qué? Solo hemos visto describiendo appearance, right? Describiendo parte de nuestro cuerpo, chicos, okay? Pero sabemos que hay más de un adjetivo, right? So next class, we are going to see all the adjectives y vamos a practicar, ¿ok? Y va a haber una tarea bastante especial. So be ready, ¿ok? Estemos pendientes. So guys, this was 
everything for tonight. So thank you for being here. And I hope you have a very good week and see you tomorrow. Okay. Nos vemos mañana. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Good night. 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 Good night.